Hey, Zach, what you doing? Oh, hey. Just, uh, continuing on with conquering this garage. Uh, I was just about to pull the plug on this and, uh, see if I got spark. Or see, oh, no, I know it's got spark. It's brand new, but I, uh, can't get her to fire up. So... Yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And then I'm putting some marks on my equipment so I know what I got and where it's at. I recognize it as a pile on the job site. But uh, look at this. I just bought this tool kit. It's a great tool kit. I got a uh, like 293 piece set. It was cheap because it's from China. So anyway, I brought it home. The first thing that happened was it broke because it's plastic junk. So what I was going to do was take some screws real quick and. Uh, Fix it. I had a box of them here that I was going to use special. See if I got a couple in here. Here we go. A couple of drywall screws will work. We're going to go with uh, go with the fine threads. And we'll try that. See how that works. Well, that's not going to work because I don't have the. I can't get the tip out. This thing locked up on me. So I'm going to have to use. Uh, shorties. Here's one here. This will work good. Oh, I gotta unplug the battery when I put it away because the light stays on. The pinky trigger's stuck on it. There we go. Here's one. surprised. Everything's junk these days. There we go. Where else is it broken at? pushing uh, Iron Maiden songs today, trying to get my troops rallied up. There's the male lady, or is it a lady male? Anyway, that's better. Junk they make these days. It's all consumerism, throwaway junk. And they don't want you to take care of it. They want you to throw it away and get another one. There we go. That, something in there, right? I have to rearrange it, but that's not so important right now. I'm going to pull the plug on this bike. I got this bike for $180 from an old man. And uh, he, uh, when I got it home, I mean, I knew it wouldn't turn over. The motor was seized up. I had the original motor for it. And I have, I have the original motor if it's still on the guy's property. I don't want to file a lawsuit against him for getting rid of my stuff. But, smell the ether from the last time I tried to start it. 
Yeah, the plug's bad. I might be able to clean that. But I need to drop the, the bowl on the carburetor. And uh, that means I'm going to have to take the whole carburetor off. It's been sitting for three years, so I know i got to at least open it up and look at it. But that's what I'm up to. Um, you notice the TV's not on. Or radio, really. I haven't been listening to radio because I don't want it to interfere with my thought process. So, and that's part of the uh, media, okay, radio, uh, the music industry. What people don't know is that the government and other various organizations hire people, offer ads to hire people to write particular songs about particular things. And what that does is it conditions our mind to a particular mindset about whatever information is within those messages that they're programming you with. Um, when I was in Coopersville, uh, I moved to Coopersville when I was nine years old, 1979, went to Mar, and I went to Coopersville School, and one of the things the teachers taught us about, well, a lot of things the teachers taught us about, about that was off the curriculum, like mind control, and uh, subliminal advertising, and uh, there's no such thing as free, um, the sweepstakes is a joke. So don't bother. All they want to do is know what you like to buy so they can sell things to you. Um, get a clue, America. The rest of the world wants to be just like us. That's about all i got to say about that. Peace, love, and always care. Come see me. You might find something special.